Thanks for tuning into the channel. I'm Nicholas DeVoy and today we are talking about, or today's lessons about lower half pivot. It is one of the common mistakes that I see from a lot of golfers is not understanding how to make the lower body turn in the backswing. If you're not turning your lower half in the correct manner, it means you're gonna have a lot of pressure moving towards the toes, and that's gonna to lead to what I would call early extension issues or having a body or an upper body that's too straight. Now, when we have those two sorts of issues happening, it also means that we're gonna be striking the ball all over the club face, and that's gonna send the golf ball in the directions we don't want it to. So, let's work on your swing, let's understand lower body pivots, and let's get you hitting the ball a lot more effectively. Now, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It's completely free to do. Make sure you hit the bell, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the share button. The more people this gets out to, the more content I can actually put out there. Now, if you happen to be in Western Australia, you can come see me here at X Golf Balcata. If you are somewhere else around the world, you can hit me up through an app called Swing It Index. All the information is down below. Now, like we were talking about, turning of the lower half or pivoting of the lower half. The common mistake that we see is a lot of golfers, as they take the backswing, they swing the left side of their body around the right side of that body. Now, when you do that, it means that you're gonna get excessive weight moving towards the toes. Now, if you have weight on your toes as you get to the top of the backswing, the common result of that is as you're moving down into impact, that your upper body starts to straighten or we get early extension through the legs. And when we get that, we get, like I said, we get all sorts of strikes over the top of the golf face, and we don't want that. So, what we need to understand is that when you're taking your backswing, you need to make sure that the left side of your body stays anchored and the right side of your body or your lower section or your hips pivots backwards. Now, that creates a little bit of an extension through the right side of the leg. The other way that you can look at it or understand it is if you're looking at your lead side knee, if you swing from the left side of your body, you get too much flexion through your left side of the knee and your left knee gets too external to your toes. If you're turning correctly, it would look like that your lead side knee slightly moves inward. Yes, you will get a little bit of flexion, but the lead side knee moves inwards, not forwards. So when you're looking at again from a down the line perspective, if you're pivoting correctly, you're gonna pull the right side hip, the left side knee will come internal, and you will get good effective turns. That means you're gonna get good upper body rotation, you're gonna be a lot more balanced, you're gonna feel a lot more pressure in the trail side heel, and when you get into this position, you can then actually generate quite a fair amount of club head speed coming down to the golf ball. You'll also avoid early extension, and you'll also keep your chest over the golf ball a lot more effectively and get the compression that you're looking for with every strike. Now, a simple drill that you can do is to grab a dining room chair when you're at home and work on these turns. Now, when you take your setup, your bum cheeks will be touching that chair. Now, as you work your backswing up to the top, what you're trying to feel is that your left side detaches from the chest, from the chair, but your right side stays connected. And that will show that you're getting good pivots and good turns and you're getting good amounts of depth. Getting yourself into this position just means that when you're moving down into impact, you're going to be in a much more effective position to strike the ball, and you're gonna to start to hit the golf ball out in the middle of the club face. Simple drills to get simple feels to get more effective strikes. So, go and look at your pivots. Go look at your turns of your lower half of your body. If you feel like you're getting too much on your toes, there's a good chance that you're swinging from the left side of your body and not pulling backwards from the right side of your body. There you go, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll see you next time on ND Golf.